Hello, this is Neil from RepUp Log Phase doing another tutorial for HeeksCAD. Uh, this is going to be how to make uh, 3D extruded text with HeeksCAD. Um, if you've used HeeksCAD before, you know that you have a text function. Um, unfortunately, the text function doesn't extrude, so if you try to extrude in third dimension, you get this error. Um, the only way that you can extrude text in HeeksCAD that I've found is to actually have a DXF file and extrude that. Um, so, since I like to always use open source, um, you can use Inkscape. Unfortunately, when it exports a DXF, it doesn't come out in a way that HeeksCAD's friendly with. So, um, an easy way to get it to um, export properly is to go to the Big Blue Saw, which, by the way, they're a great laser cutting company, but also they managed to fix Inkscape for me. So, um, Big Blue Saw's uh, DXF, DXF export for Inkscape will is a different way you can save a DXF file out of Inkscape which makes really makes it really easy to do text so uh, download this install it um, and I'm just going to sort of walk you through his instructions here on how to do it but it'll work with any DXF um, but it makes text really really easy to do so um, once you've installed it uh, you're going to want to go back to Inkscape um, go ahead and type in your text whatever you want it to be we'll say hello um, and then change it to whatever font you want um, find something yeah that looks nice okay so we'll go ahead and change it to this font but any font you have here um, so you have that uh, then what you're going to want to do is select it Um, you're going to take the object and ungroup it. Edit, select all, object, ungroup, and then um, you're going to go path, object to path. Once you've changed object, object to path, you're going to save it as the big blue song DXF output. Save that as hello. Once you've saved that DXF file, you go back over here and import that into HeeksCAD. There's your text. Now that text is extrudable, so extrude it, and it'll come out as a solid. Um, if you notice, the letters are actually full. Um, that's pretty easily fixed, though. Um, all you do is you select the outside of the letter then the inside of the letter and boon line and same with the E so get back over here to the E take the middle out there you go uh, you can do that with any font that has an Inkscape and Inkscape actually allows you to very easily add fonts um, I've went through and added different fonts um, this will actually print perfectly on your RepRap printer or um, it would also probably work with a CNC machine since it's the same basic idea. Anyway, hope this was helpful. Have a good day.